Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Friedrich and for today's video I prepare for you one brand makeup tutorial slash review slash testing because I did some swatches on this eyeshadow palette but I haven't tested them on my eyes. Uh, actually I'm gonna use this one for today's video but I like this one as well. I mean I like the color scheme but who knows about the quality? That's why I'm filming this video. I have some uh, lip products, I have some brow pomades, and I have body oil, which looks so stunning, shimmery, and glittery. I can't wait to test it out. So let's go ahead and start my new transformation. First of all, I would like to show you eyeshadow palette, which I'm not going to use for this makeup tutorial. This one contains 12 shades, and the name of this collection is Free Time. The packaging of this one is green, it looks as a clock with a decent sized mirror and uh, 6 matte shades. One pressed glitter and the rest of the shades are described as metallics, although two of the shades has more of a satin finish rather than metallic. All of them are gorgeous and highly pigmented, even two of the pastel shades. The reason is because these mattes are actually pressed pigments. And the palette I chose to test today is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette from Go Travel Collection. This one is called Paired. These shades, in my opinion, are simply stunning, especially shade Pavlova, which is duochrome silver and plum. I started with matte muted pink shade called Shrimp, and this shade is very pigmented and easy to blend. There's not a lot of kickback in the pan, especially if you take into consideration that this one is uh, pressed pigment. I applied it all over my eyelid and the crease with a fluffy brush as I would with any other transition shade. I haven't primed my eyes with uh, anything else but my usual concealer, it applied easy, without any patches or weirdness. I would like to mention that uh, I've been using brow pomade from Focalo throughout the entire this and the last year and uh, I don't want to switch to any other products. If you don't believe me, simply go ahead and check any of my videos here on my YouTube from that period. Currently I have the brow pomade in shade Chocolate, but I also love shade Ebony. It's a bit darker and uh, more dramatic. Second matte shade I decided to go with is Coral Reef. It's very pigmented and uh, intense dark red. The quality of this shade is amazing. I own Modern Renaissance palette from uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills and these shades feel so much alike. Not just by the color theme, but with the velvet texture, pigmentation and the blendability. First I wanted to focus this one only in my outer wreaths, but I ended up covering my entire crease. Anyway, I'll deepen it later on, but now I'm focusing on the cut crease. Before I do that, I'll buff out the edges with a bigger and a fluffier brush. If you have your own technique how to cut the crease, go ahead and do it. I'm just uh, used to use this tiny brush from Morphe and uh, Cream Concealer. I'm gonna create a wearable look, which I would actually do in a real life. I don't want to overdo it and mix too many shades and textures. It's fun to experiment for photo shoots and uh, special occasions, but I want to show you how this product works for regular people. Regular, busy people who don't have like a 3 hours for a day to spend on rainbow looks. To be honest, this entire eye makeup uh, look took me like um, maybe 20 minutes max and um, it would took me less of course if I haven't had uh, filmed it. Now I do have to admit that I haven't expected this white shade Wa to be this intense. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's stunning. Next one I'm using is my favorite shade from this palette, shade Pavlova and let me tell you camera doesn't do it justice. It's way more stunning and depressive in a real life, but uh, that's usual for duochromes and I've used both of these shades dry on a slightly tacky base. I really hope you can see the shift from purple to silver. I haven't mentioned there's a single glitter shade in this palette as well. It's very finely milk pressed mix of uh, blue and purple glitter. Six shades are matte and the rest of them are metallics with one duochrome which is already mentioned and used Pavlova shade. I ended up mixing coral reef with matte uh, brown shade to deepen up my outer corner and I bought both of these shades on my lower lash line as well. Then I buffed it out with a shrimp shade which is a movie pink. I went all around with a clean brush just to diffuse the edges, added a tiny bit of the same white shade in my inner corners cause I don't think I need any extra drama. This look already speaks for itself. Now it's time to add some liner, mascara and uh, lashes. Obviously I'm using second guessing lashes which are my favorite. 
These are in style backbone, which are super comfy, cat eye, but not overly dramatic. For my lips, I decided to go with Muted Pink Velvet Liquid Lipstick in shade Ruddy Pink. The other shade is Old Rose, which is more of a deeper reddish pink shade. Both of them are beautiful, but I thought the lighter one would suit me better with the eye makeup. Lipstick is super comfy with velvet matte finish. I couldn't detect any scent and it lasted on my lips for a couple of hours until I ate it along with my salad. And the latest product I have to show you is this gorgeous body oil. The bottle has a pump and this is in their deeper shade. It's both metallic and glittery and shiny and stunning and I have to use this all over my body. Small amount goes a long way, be aware of that. This bottle will last you a long time. Anyway, this is the final look I created using all products from brand Focalou. If you're interested to check them out, you can use my discount code. I'm not even sure if I'm going to get any commission, but I'm positive that you'll save some money. Also, I'll link all the products I showed you in this video so you can easily find them on their official website. Thank you for watching, enjoy your day and bye bye!